Hello folks, today I'm going to do a repair tutorial on the Honeywell thermostat replacement. As you can see, uh, my Honeywell thermostat display is broken. Uh, it is powered, everything is connected, but the display is off. And I'm going to have to replace the thermostat with a brand new one. All these buttons no longer works. This is a new thermostat I purchased from Amazon. It's about 50 bucks. Um, Google Nest Smart Thermostat. Let's see what's inside the box. We have some instruction manual, warranty facts, user guide. Here's the Google Nest uh, thermostat. And inside we have this wall mount. Uh, uh, looks like they don't have screws, so you need to have your own screws to mount it to the wall. This is an old Honeywell thermostat. On the back side, it has eight pin connectors. And the Google Nest on the back has uh, six pin connectors with two uh, rechargeable battery. After taking off the Honeywell thermostat, you can see here we have green, white, blue, red, and yellow wires. Um, this whole thing bracket uh, needs to come off and the wire needs to be taken off from this uh, connector. Before you take off the wiring, uh, first check how the wire is connected. The green is connected to the letter G for green. W is white connected to the white wire. C, um, that is uh, the color blue. Somehow it's letter C. Uh, C is blue. And Y, yellow. The next one is R. R is red. And then we have a bare wire jumper connecting the R to the RC. So this is how the wire is connected. We will need to match the same color to the Google Next thermostat. Uh, next step is you need to take out the wires with a small flathead screwdriver and simply counterclockwise and uh, loosen the wires. Then use Philip Hep screwdriver to take off the thermostat mounting. Okay. Now this will expose all the wires. Make sure they're not touching each other. Um, there is electricity running through it. The next step, we will mount the Google Nest. Turn it uh, flat like this, uh, the flat side to the wall. Uh, and then uh, run the wire through the center, uh, like so. And make sure the bubble is centered. Uh, everything is level. So looks like this is a good position. Also, you want to move it so that uh, the mounting bracket is covering the, the holes on the wall. So this is a good position right there. I'm going to hold it and install the screws. on. After putting on one screw, now you can attach the wires. Make sure you bend the wire so you have uh, just enough distance to plug into these holes on the side. As you can see, Y is yellow, simply twist the wire, make sure uh, if it's a wire too long, you can cut it with a wire cutter and uh, re-strip the wires and push it into this little hole. So when I insert it, I need to push down on this lever and then um, just simply push in like that. And same thing here, uh, push down on the lever and push in the blue wire. And repeat uh, for the red and green. After securing with both screws, top and bottom, um, make sure your wiring is in the center and it won't provide any obstacle when you attach the Google Net thermostat. Um, double check the colors YCW GR, and the OB is nothing. Peel off the battery tab 
and uh, you can see it's lighting up uh, the continuous setup uh, in the display and simply just uh, plug it in you should hear a click sound uh, looks everything is secure and now we're going to run the Google app to continue the setup we will type in Google Home in the App Store and download the Google Home app now launch the Google Home app click OK find connected devices OK use Bluetooth Welcome to the Google Home app, designed to put all your compatible smart home devices at your fingertips. Select thermostat, Nest thermostat. You have to scan the QR code in the back of the thermostat, and now um, after it detects it, hit continue, uh, agree. Do you have a Nest account? Uh, no. Uh, Agree. Agree to the term conditions. Um, cameras uh, say no. Here, if your thermostat is 120 or 240 volt, it's considered high voltage system and it's not compatible. Uh, and uh, we should check uh, before the installation that um, this unit, uh, Honeywell particular model, is actually 24 volt. So we're not in the high voltage, not high voltage. Uh, next, pretty much these steps we already did. Okay, it's connected. Now I'm going to select the language, uh, English. Test your system power, start test. Uh, forced air. Uh, to cooling okay I can hear the AC is turning on so that means it is working say next connect assistant nest device uh, connect to join the device take a minute okay looks like it's working so now you see uh, everything is connecting, uh, temperature is set to 75 uh, and the Wi-Fi connect password connect to Wi-Fi connected finishing up uh, looks like now it's downloading update 2% Okay, installation is complete. It says you're all set, um, and I'm gonna click on done. Uh, to change the temperature, simply just slide, swipe right side. Okay, so here's how you select the temperature. Uh, cool set to 75. Okay, everything's working. Thanks for watching.